Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. So in today's video, I'm going to explain the volleyball rotations. I always get a lot of questions about the rotations, the service um, order, serving zones, all that stuff. So we're going to put some diagrams up and talk about it. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Jacoby.Sins. Also, if you like my vlogs, make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel, Jacoby Sins Vlogs, and let's get into it. Okay, gang, so I have my laptop here. My notes are on my laptop. Also, side note, check out my laptop sleeve. It's so cute. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so at the basics, like to start this whole video off, we have to understand that there are six players on the court at one time and they all are in a spot on the court. So there's right, like say this is the net, right? Right, oh frick, it's gonna be reflected. So sorry you guys, but bear with me. Like right front, middle front, left front. I hope it reflects that way. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> left back, middle back, right back, okay? So those are the six spots on the floor and those spots also have numbers um, in addition to their actual names. So each player at the beginning of a set um, starts in a spot, okay? But everyone will rotate throughout um, the six spots. Now we could get into like how you substitute and how some players don't play back row and someone plays their back row for them or someone, someone plays their front row for them. We're not going to get into that just because it's not, comp I mean, it's not really relevant right now, but we're going to just stick to the basics of how we rotate. So let's get into actual rotations. Okay, so each time a team wins a side out or they win a point, they um, rotate clockwise, okay? So that just means one to your right essentially um and a good way to remember that is just like you know visualize that you're like on a clock and you're just going one to your right every single time you win a point you're rotating and i don't mean like when a point like you're serving at the other team you only rotate when you side out so the definition of side out is when like you are receiving the serve and you score a point and you get the serve back, that's when you rotate. So quickly before we dive in any further, I wanna to touch on um, service order and the zones or the serving zones. So on the court, uh, I'll put up a diagram somewhere, but there's zone one, two, three, four, and five, and six, okay? One, five, and six are all the back row positions or um, behind the 10 foot line or the three meter line, whichever you want to call it. And then in front of the 10 meter line and closest to the net are zones two, three, and four. Okay, so now let's talk about overlap because it gets a little sticky sticky. So overlap is when you're basically out of rotation. Say you are um, serving and say that your service order is left front, but you are the middle blocker. So your base position is middle front. You still have to start in left front until the serve is contacted then you can go to your base position but if you go before the serve you will be out of rotation and they will call you for that um, infraction and the other team will get the point everyone gets mad uh, so yeah so um the way i learned rotations was like having like a partner or someone that you're like connected to so if you visualize a court and there's six people on the court you want to look ac directly across from you like diagonally so say if you're in, or if you're in the middle just straight in front of you so say you're a middle back and you're in zone zone six the person in zone three okay is your opposite that is the best thing that you can ever learn because it'll keep you straight and it'll keep like in your brain it'll make more sense so you want to have your opposite so if okay so in volleyball two middles will start in usually okay so the libero will come in for one of the middles typically back row but starting off when the down rep is checking your rotations you need to be in your service order so that means that the two middle blockers need to be in middle back and middle front sometimes that's where they start okay let's just say for example sake that that's where they're going to start you look across from you you point you're like that's my opposite so the other middle blocker across from you, that's your opposite. So there's always going to be two people in, in between you guys. So that's how you know that you're in rotation. So let's say you're in right front and you look across from you, what's going to be across from you? Left back. Okay, just literally think of your diagonals, have your guns pointed and then you can see who's going to be diagonal of you and then you'll know when you're out of rotation because your person is not across from you directly. Key, key, I swear it works. So now that I um, kind of explained everything, we're gonna talk about substitutions and we're gonna touch on it very lightly because like I said earlier in the video, like it's not 
that pertinent to this video but okay so sometimes players do not play all the way around sometimes they either only play front row or they only play back row so a great example of a back row only player besides the libero is a defensive specialist or a ds so these are the people who are really good at passing defense serve receive and they come in for someone who is weaker at those skills so for example the main um sub that people use is a ds for an outside hitter so once the outside hitter rotates and she plays or he or she plays her three rotations in the front row and she goes back to serve you can sub in a DS to serve and play the back row for that person. But when the back row person is done with their three rotations, they have to sub out unless you want them to play front row too, which is typically not the case. Usually DSs are smaller and do not hit because their specialization is defense and passing. As soon as they get to zone one, two, three, as soon as they get to zone four, that's when you know that it's time to sub out. But I mean, the, the player and the coach should know like before they even get to zone four that it's time for them to sub out. Because if not, the, the whistle will blow and they'll have to play front row for like one rotation. And that's never a good time. So make sure that you're ready to sub. But that's another case or that's an example of someone playing back row for someone who's front row. So then that person will come back in, sub, okay, and then they'll come back in and then they'll play their front row and then they'll sub out again and then that person will come and play their back row. But that's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you liked it. I hope it answers some of your questions and it makes a little bit more sense now. Please comment down below any more questions you have. I'm, I'm happy to answer them. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.